welcome. So, today we're going to talk about the hacking minigames, both for the Corpus and for the Grenier. But mainly the Corpus because there's more of a strategy to being able to complete those faster, whereas the Grenier ones are a lot of reflex and just getting it down. Uh, more practice than anything else. But, why would you not just use a cipher? You can just build ciphers, and they don't cost like that much of like resource cost. Like, it's really not that crazy. Like, if you're an advanced player, why not just have a bunch of ciphers? Well, the reason for that is because sometimes you can't use ciphers. And a perfect representation of that is this. On sorties, you can't use ciphers in any part of the sortie. So, it's important for you to be able to do these quickly. So I'm going to go over how to do the corpus ones faster, the higher difficulty ones. The lower ones should be relatively simple for you once you figure out how to do it. Uh, and then we'll talk about how you can get better at the grenier ones and the corpus ones as well. So, obviously on spies, like I'm just going to run to them and then hack the shit. This will also be like... A minor bit of a spy guide, I suppose. Alright, so whenever you're hacking the corpus, it's important to note that you can go in multiple directions. Left click will spin it, right click will spin it, opposite directions. And when you're doing that, the thing that I do whenever I hack the corpus is I go in a circle. Because it's important to do the outside first, because the middle actually doesn't matter. Once you know where the outside positions like can be, or like they have like the only correct positions for those, the middle is just spin it until it's correct. And usually there's only one correct position for any like given piece that you will encounter. And what I mean by that is that there's only, like, if it is a certain piece on the outside, it has a correct position, no matter what the puzzle is, like, no matter what it changes to. Uh, and hopefully this will be an example of that. Uh, the three-pronged ones are usually ones that only have one position. So for these ones, three, three prongs always go towards the middle. Like, that you can just deduce immediately, and because there's an open side to this, you just don't have to connect that one. Like, determining which pieces have, like, absolution, and, like, there's just you just put them in the position they go to, uh, and just always do that first, and then spinning the middle is, like, that's what you do last. Uh, looking at the middle is a good way to be able to fail this a lot, because the middle actually doesn't matter at all. Or at least not in the current way that we have the corpus hacking puzzle. The middle is the least important part, and I think a lot of people focus on it too much. that one's turned off in sorties as well. I've never seen it be open in a sortie, so, oh well. Yeah, just getting used to doing the outside, then just spin the middle. Like, don't eat, like, the middle, whatever the middle is, actually should not matter to you at all. Some of these corner ones, it's just about kind of knowing where you have to connect. And that will, that's kind of a come with time thing, where you'll know where the absolute position of those is. Can't switch for that one for some reason. All right, whatever. And that one works fine. Oh well. Excellent work, 
But yeah, just knowing exactly. Like, working, working in a circle is the absolute best way to do the Corpus puzzles, by far. As for the Grenier puzzles, the Grenier puzzles are, honestly, they're just like a little, like, rhythm game dealy. So, if you want to get better at the Grenier puzzles, it's honestly just, like, better to in a, indirectly do it and just kind of get better at, like, a rhythm game and then have the rhythm in your head. Uh, so, games like Guitar Hero and games like that are kind of pertinent to helping you with that stuff. Uh, and there's pretty much nothing you can do to get just, like, inherently better at the Grenier one, because it's just you hit space when it's over the thing. You just have to have a better rhythm with the puzzle itself. But I do have a practice mechanism for you guys. So there are two websites, or one of them is a GitHub, but it's a subset of the website. It's a game. And it's basically a no-consequences version of both the Corpus and the Grenier puzzles. Uh, and you can just do them over and over and practice. And, of course, practice makes perfect. For the Corpus one, the Corpus one is actually harder than the one that is in-game, eventually. Like, it gets harder, which is technically better practice, I guess. Um, so, be aware of that. Some of the puzzles that are included in the Corpus one are actually not in the game and are more difficult than the ones that are in the game. Uh, and while the Grenier one, uh, the Grenier one, if you play the endless mode, you're gonna, and you get good at the endless mode of that one, you're going to be impossible to stop at, like, the in-game Grenier one, because that is significantly harder after you get past a couple of the, uh, couple of the puzzles in the endless one. So, go check those sites out, and just, uh, practice it out, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.